Hi everybody, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me Laura and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a spooky, rather disgusting eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> In this tutorial we are going to be using some DK light worsted weight yarn, that's a yarn weight of three, and you're going to need some red DK light worsted weight yarn, and you're going to need some white as well, and you're going to need an eye colour, so you can use green, brown, blue, whatever eye colour you want to make, and also you're going to need some black for the pupil in the middle. And for this eyeball we are going to be using a 3.5mm E4 crochet hook, and you're also going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle as well, as always, for sewing in those ends. And you're also going to need some toy stuffing as well, or you can use some yarn scraps, which I've left in the other room, so I need to go get those. Right, oh, there we go. So a load of yarn scraps. You've got all these little bits that you've cut off at the end of projects. They're brilliant for stuffing. So, okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we're going to start off with our black yarn. We're going to start off with a pupil in the middle. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to chain four. Okay, so we'll do our little slip knot. And we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Four. Okay, sorry, it's in black at the beginning. Hopefully, you can see. Got four chains one, two, three, and four. Put your hook into the very first chain that you made at the beginning here. We're going to create a four chain loop. So, put your hook into that first chain, bring the yarn through the first chain, and then bring it straight through the loop on your hook as per a lot of the beginning of most of my videos. Just create a little four chain loop, join at the beginning and the end. And in the middle, you should have a hole. You can see there, don't confuse it with your um, first chain. You want to find that central hole there. And into there, we are going to do six single crochets in US terminology. So we're gonna put our hook straight into the center there. Bring the yarn through the middle two loops, yarn over, pull through both loops. Okay, and we've done a single crochet, if you can see there. I want six of those, so you're gonna put your hook back into the center again, and bring the yarn through the middle, and we're just wrapping it around the chains now, doesn't matter how many chains you've got. Yarn over, pull through both loops, got two, we want six, let's say. Put a hook back into the middle, bring the yarn through, three, back into the middle, bring the yarn through, four, five, and one more, six. Okay, so we've got six single crochet in the center of that four chain loop. And if you just pull your tail ends, that hole should come in a little bit. Okay. Then what we want to do is we want to find our first single crochet that we did. So just check you've got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're gonna find our first single crochet that we did and put our hook into there. Okay, under both loops. Bring the yarn through, actually we're not going to bring the yarn through, we are going to bring the yarn through, but we're not going to bring the black yarn through, so we're going to drop our black yarn, and then we want to bring up our eye colour, so let's get, this time I'm going to make a green, green eye, I've got eyeballs rolling around everywhere, <laughs> so put the green yarn over the end of your hook instead, just hold it with your finger, bring that through the first single crochet that you did, then bring it straight through the loop on your hook as well. Okay, and now you can see we're working with our green yarn. So I'm just going to pull my black nice and tight. And now we're working with our green yarn. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little chain one, just to secure. Let's do a little chain one. We're not going to count that as a stitch, so just ignore that as a stitch. 
So we can pull that nice and tight so it can disappear because we're not going to work into it or anything. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our hook back into the same single crochet we've just slip stitched into. So the one you just slip stitched into, we're going to put our hook back into that same single crochet, which is there. Okay. And we're going to do two single crochets. So bring the arm through there, turn it that the way and do one single crochet. Then we're gonna go back into the same stitch again, back into the same one, and we're going to do another single crochet. Okay, so we've got two single crochet in that first single crochet on the very first round that we slip stitched into with the green, okay? Which I know is incredibly difficult to see with the black, so hope you, hopefully you can follow along. If you are new to crochet, I always recommend you go check out my beginner tutorials, uh, tutorials, <laughs> tutorials, <laughs> and um, come back and check out some of these videos and hopefully it might help you understand a bit better. Then we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to do two single crochet in there. Let's go into the next stitch, do a single crochet, go back into the same stitch again and do another one. So we've got two in there, okay, two in there. We're going to do two in the next one as well. So we're just going to repeat that around doing two single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so one and two in there, two single crochet in there, two single crochet in the next stitch, one and another one in the same stitch, two, uh, two single crochet in the next stitch, one and Two, okay, two in there, and two single crochet in the last stitch. One, and another one in the same stitch, two in there. And your stitch count should have gone up from six to twelve, because you've doubled up, because you've done two in each stitch around. Okay, so you should have a stitch count of twelve, two, four, six, eight, ten. 12. Then we're going to skip our tiny little chain one, which has disappeared. I'm going to put our hook into that first single crochet. Hopefully you can see a bit better now. First single crochet. And do a little slip stitch. So bring the arm through there and straight through the loop on your hook. Let's do a slip stitch. Let's pull some of those tail ends. There we go. Like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do a little chain one on the next round. Again, we're not going to count that as a stitch, just ignore that as a stitch. And this time we're going to go back into that first single crochet that we just slip stitched into again. So we're going to go back into that first single crochet we slip stitched into. Okay, one there. But this time we're just going to do one single crochet. Okay, so we're just going to do just the one in there. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do two single crochet. So we do our increase in the next one. So one and go back into the same stitch and do another one. So you've got two in there, okay, two in there. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, just the one. It's so just one in there, okay, just one. Then in the next stitch, we do two single crochet. For an increase. One and another one in the same stitch. Okay, so you've got two in there. Now repeat that round doing one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet, then one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, back to the beginning and you will end on a two single crochet. Okay, and you should have a stitch count of 18 okay stitch count of 18 so i shall do that and then i shall come back so one single crochet in the next stitch then two single crochet one and two and one single crochet okay just coming up to the last two so one single crochet in the next stitch and then we end on two single crochet in the last stitch one and two. Okay, and just double check you've got 18 stitches by the end of that round. Then what we're going to do is we're going to skip our tiny little chain one, find your first 
proper single crochet put your hook into there but instead of yarning over with the green we're now going to yarn over with the white so let's get our white on the go okay so instead of yarning over with the white uh, the green we're going to yarn over with the white let's put that over my hook hold that in place bring that through the first single crochet and then straight for the loop on my hook and now we're working with the white okay so just going to pull those tail ends then we're going to move on to the next round okay so for the next round we're going to chain one again again don't count that as a stitch it's just to get a little bit of leverage there we go and again we're going to go back into that same first single crochet we just slip stitched into one where that white's coming out so go back into there and do one single crochet in there okay then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch okay just the one in the next stitch and then we're going to do two single crochet so one and another one in the same stitch okay so this time you've done one single crochet, one single crochet, then two single crochet. We're going to repeat that pattern all the way around as well. So we do one single crochet in the next two. So one single crochet in the next stitch by itself. One single crochet in the next stitch by itself. And then two single crochet for our increase. One and another one in the same stitch. Okay. So one single crochet in the next two, then two single crochet. Repeat that all the way around, doing one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Back to the beginning, and you should have a stitch count of, was it 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, you should have a stitch count of 24. My six timetables, it's awful. <laughs> stitch count of 24, and you should end on two single crochet, okay? So one single crochet in the next two, then two single crochet. Okay, just coming up to the last three stitches. And we do one single crochet in the next stitch, same as before, one single crochet in the next stitch. Then we end on two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. Okay, two single crochet. Let's just tighten our green just to bring that in. Okay, then what we're going to do, you need to check you've got a stitch count of 24. Two, four, six, eight. Hang on. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. There we go. Find your first single crochet that you did and slip stitch into there. Bring the yarn through and straight through the loop on your hook. And that's the end of that round. Okay, we're going to do one more increase round. So we're going to chain one again and then we're going to do one single crochet in the same first single crochet we just slip stitched into. So you go back into that one we slip stitched into and do a single crochet and do a single crochet in the next stitch and we do a single crochet in the next stitch as well so we're doing one single crochet in the next three this time so one two three then we do our two single crochet so one and another one in the same stitch okay so you've got two in there so hopefully you can see that we're going to repeat that all the way around doing one single crochet in the next three okay one two three just the one then two single crochet then one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet two single crochet back to the beginning so we end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 30 by the end of that round okay so one single crochet in the next three so one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch then two single crochet 
one and another one in the same stitch okay and just repeat that to the beginning okay so one single crochet in the next three and two single crochet okay so just going up to the last four same pattern again one single crochet in the next three one next stitch two next stitch three and then in the very last stitch last one we do two single crochet and your increases should all line up one and two yeah, your increases should line up with your previous increases on the other rounds okay so by the end of that round you should have a stitch count of 30 and we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet that we did yarn through straight through the loop on your hook and there we go to join the rounds so that's the end of our increase rounds and like i said you should have a stitch count of 30. and what we're going to do now is we are going to do now we've done our increases we're going to do our length rounds and to do our length rounds we are just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around so but first of all we are going to chain one go back into the single crochet just slip stitched into so go back into there again and do one single crochet okay then we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch around so you just do one stitch one single crochet into each stitch there's no increases no two single crochets and you're keeping a stitch count of 30 and we are going to do this for the same amount of rounds we've done of increases so one two three four five we're going to do that for five rounds okay five rounds of just chain one one single crochet in the same stitch you slip stitched into one single crochet in each stitch around slip stitch in your first single crochet I'm going to do that for five rounds okay and keep a stitch count of 30 so I shall do that and then I shall come back okay, okay so I'm just going up to the last stitch on the fifth round the last round and single crochet in there and then we just do as we've done before and just slip stitch into that first single crochet to join okay so it should look a little something like that now if you do one if you're keeping a stitch count of 30 just doing one single crochet in each stitch round it creates the length what i call the length so it stops getting bigger and bigger and what i'm going to do now is i'm actually just going to cut the green and the black don't cut the white whatever you do don't cut the right right just cut the green and the black just to get those out of the way and then what we're going to do is we are going to i'm just going to pull a loop up there slightly turn the eyeball inside out and I'm just going to tie a few knots these ends together just to secure them so let's tie the black ones together and if you struggle to follow along with the full chain loop and the single crochets at the beginning do check out some of my other videos because I pretty much do the exact same thing in a lot of my other videos but using an easier colour to see with so do check them out Okay. the greens as well so I'm just going to tie a green with that tail end of white as well a couple of times and I don't need to trim these down because they can be used as stuffing on the inside so I can just turn that inside out again tuck all those tail ends on the inside there what we're going to do now is we are going to decrease our eyeball so we bring our circle shape back in and to do that we're going to reduce our stitch count down from 30 back down to 24 so we chain one same as before chain one and we're going to do one single crochet in the next three again starting in that same one you just slip stitched into so we do one single crochet in that first single crochet we slip stitched into one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch so it's the same as our last increase round so one single crochet in the next three but this time we're going to decrease so over the next two stitches we're going to single crochet two stitches together and to do that we go into the next stitch bring the yarn through but we stop and go straight into the next stitch bring the yarn through so you've gone through two stitches three loops yarn over pull through all three and that single crochets two stitches in down to one 
Okay, and we're just going to repeat that all the way around. So we do one single crochet in the next three, one next stitch, two next stitch, three, and then we single crochet two together. So we go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, stop, into the next stitch, bring the yarn through. So you're going through two stitches, three loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, so just repeat that round and your stitch count should go down from 30 back down to 24. Okay, so one single crochet in the next three, then single crochet two together. Okay, come up to the last five stitches, single crochet in the next three, next one, next stitch two, next stitch three, and that leaves you with the last two stitches, and we single crochet those two together. Okay, like so. And then we find our first single crochet and slip stitch in to there. So your stitch count has now gone down to 24. You see it's got a little bit smaller. Okay, now we're going to repeat our second to last increase round, but decrease instead. So we're going to chain one. Again, starting in the same stitch you slip stitched into, we do a single crochet. And then we do a single crochet in the next stitch. And then we do our decrease. So we're just doing one single crochet in the next two this time. And then we single crochet two together. So we go into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, stop. So the next stitch, bring the yarn through. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Okay, so repeat that round, doing one single crochet in the next two. So next stitch, do a single crochet. Next stitch, do a single crochet, but just in the next two, and then we single crochet two together. So into the next stitch, pull through, stop. The next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Repeat that all the way around, doing one single crochet in the next two, then single crochet two together. One single crochet in the next two, single crochet two together. And your stitch count should go down from 24 back down to, I think it was 18, wasn't it? 18, okay. So one single crochet in the next two, single crochet two together. Okay, just come up to the last four, single crochet, one single crochet in the next two, one, next stitch, two, and then we single crochet the last two together. And if you're finding you're not having the right amount of stitches at the end, it may be because you didn't start in that first one we slip stitched into. Okay, and then that's sort of what I call a fake stitch, skip that, skip your chain one, find that first single crochet. Bring the yarn through to join, okay? And your stitch count should have gone down to 18, okay? And then we are going to do the next decrease round. So we chain one and we do one single crochet in the same stitch we slip stitched into. So go back into there. We just do that one single crochet this time, just the one, and then we go straight into our single crocheting two together. So into the next stitch. Pull through, stop, to the next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And repeat that round, doing one single crochet in the next stitch, then single crochet two together. And just one single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet two together. Okay, your stitch count should go down from 18 and back down to 12. Okay, so one single crochet in the next stitch. Then we single crochet two together. And you should find that your single crochets two togethers should go sort of diagonal in that direction and sort of northeast direction. Okay. So one single crochet. Single crochet two together. Come up to the last three stitches. One single crochet in the next stitch. Then we single crochet the last two together. Okay. And then that 
there is what I call a fake stitch. Sometimes it might look like there's another stitch at the end you see, but it's not your back at the beginning. You can see that with your tiny little chain one there. Find your first single crochet. Check your stitch count as well if you're unsure. And slip stitch into there. Let's join around. Your stitch count should now come down to 12. And just pull that up. Check your stitch count and now what we're going to do is we're going to stuff our eyeball. So I'm going to stuff my eyeball with some yarn scraps and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've stuffed my eyeball with some yarn scraps and when you're happy it's nice and firm we're just going to put our hook back into our loop and this time we're just doing single crochet twos together as decreases. So we're going to start off with a little chain one and starting in the same, the same, I can't speak today, the same stitch we just slip stitched into, we go straight into there, but we're going straight into a decrease. So we're going to bring the yarn through that first single crochet, and then we're going to go straight into the next stitch, bring the yarn through. So you've got your three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. And then we're going to single crochet the next two together. We're just single crocheting two stitches together all the way around now until our stitch count goes from 12 down to 6. Single crochet those two together, single crochet these two together, okay, should do this six times, a little bit fiddly, so just have patience, and then twice more, I've lost that last one. Very stringy yarn, this. And the last two. There we go. Oh, I seem to have got very stringy yarn suddenly. Uh, then there's our little fake stitch and there's our first decrease single crochet so if you can find that first one decrease that you did and put your hook oh, into there do a slip stitch like so and your stitch count should have gone down to six but it's going to be a really small hole and what we're going to do is we're just going to cut our yarn and then just pull your loop through Really stringy. And then we're going to close, we're going to sew the remaining gap close. So you get your yarn needle. And to sew the remaining gap close, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the next stitch and out of the next stitch. We're going to draw string our hole closed, basically. So go into the next stitch, out of the next stitch. And you should see that hole getting a little bit smaller. And once more, I think into the next stitch and just sort of out in a gap until your hole is closed. And to hide your tail ends, what we're going to do is we're going to sew in somewhere into the eye. Just come out through a stitch somewhere, it doesn't matter where. Don't pull too tightly, keep the shape. Then we're going to go back in where we came out and then go over somewhere else, out for a stitch. That disappears on the inside, hole close up. And then what we do is we're going to push, so it's a little bit blurry because I'm further away from the camera. Push your project down and then just cut as close as you can. And then when your project bounces back, the tail end just disappears on the inside. So there we go, there is the main eyeball. So all that's left to do now is to add the, uh, the nerves at the back. Okay, so we're going to get our red yarn now. Okay, so we're going to take our red yarn. What we're going to do is we're going to take some lengths of our red yarn, about, about that much. Okay, we want about three of these. Okay, so just get about three lengths of these. One, don't have to be accurate. Two, three. And the last one will be a bit longer, so we're going to do four sets of veins. 
and then join them together. So first thing to do, get three of these short lengths of red. Get your yarn needle, thread that on. Okay, and what we're going to do is at the back, we don't want to be working right into the center because we want to create this sort of quite spongy, um, vein-like fibrousness. Ugh. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just so there is the center of our back of our, the eye. So you just want to go over to about there and then just come up through a stitch. OK, but you want to leave a long tail. OK, leave a long tail. So just bring through about that much enough to sew with. OK, then we're going to go back where we went in. Okay, and then you just need to create a little bit of sort of a veiny shape. So I'm going to come up through here and that will create a little line there. And I'm going to go back down to there and come up about there and then come back down to there. Okay, and then that's going to be my sony veiny bit. But then you want to come out where you originally started to finish this part. Okay, and then take your needle off. So you've got the main sort of this bit sewn here, and you've got these two strands coming out of the same hole. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna crochet with these. So the very first bit that you sew, try and keep that bit fairly short, okay? You don't want it too long. We're gonna put our hook into there as if it was a stitch and we are going to yarn over with both the strands, secures it in place, and we're going to bring that through, bring that through the sewn bit of yarn, okay? And then we're just basically going to do some chains, and you want to chain 10, okay? So chain 10 from there. So yarn over with both the strands, it just secures them in place. One, Two, three, you start to lose the tail, it doesn't matter. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so chain ten after that. Then just pull your loop through. Okay, and you're going to repeat that for. Um, twice more. Repeat that twice more, okay? Just going slightly further over, okay? So you want to go a bit further over, okay? So repeat that twice more and then I shall come back and show you what to do next, okay? Okay, so I've re repeated that twice more and uh, then for the last one, the fourth one, again, then all just slightly away from the center. And for the last one, we're going to take a longer piece, so about twice the length of what you had before. Okay, so a longer piece. Do the same thing again as all these other pieces. So we're going to put on our yarn and again just slightly away from the centre. Start off with a small stitch. Again, keep most of the long tail this end, just have a little bit for sewing with. Back to there. And then what shape should we make this time? Two, four. A bit more unusual. There we go. And then come back out when you finish. Come back out where you started. Okay, it's got like a different shape. Take your needle off. Get the two strands together. You hook into that first little bit of sewing that you did as if it was a stitch and then bring the arm through there and then chain 10 with the two strands together. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
9 and 10 but we're not going to pull our yarn through we're just going to keep our hook in there and if you want to if you've got these little bits the shorter ends there you can just trim those down get rid of those and then what we're going to do is we are going to crochet these together okay back in the opposite direction towards the eye but not completely to the end we're going to leave a few stitches here so we're only going to join them together by about six stitches but all will become clear the first thing to do is find the second stitch from your hook so don't count the loop on your hook there's a first there's a second and put your hook into there that's the first thing to do and just hold that and then bring up the next 10 chains okay and find the ninth chain so the second to last chain that you did so it doesn't really have to be accurate but there's the first one there's the second one just put your hook into there okay like so and then just pop that along your hook as well and do the same for the next one find the ninth chain a chain near the end doesn't have to be perfect Let's see Move it out the way, tail ends right. So one and two, put your hook in there and just pop that over as well and then do it the same for the last one as well. So one and two, like so. So you've got all these strands on your hook like that. And then you wanna get the longer piece that you've been working with, okay, the longer piece. And we're going to bring that through all the loops. Okay, so you're going to bring it through that one, then that one, then that one, then that one, until you're back at the beginning and you bring it for the very last one as well. Okay, so you've joined them all together. Then what you want to do is make sure you find the last the ten, last ten chains that you were working with. Okay, the one where you've still got this long piece of yarn. So find that one you've been working with okay you should see that there and then go into the next stitch next chain down pop that on your hook then find the next one on the next chain pop that on your hook find the next one on the next chain don't worry if it's not perfect it doesn't have to be accurate because it's all just organic isn't it <laughs> and then the last one and so you've got the five loops again okay you make sure you've got them all do the same thing again, yarn over and bring it through every single loop on your hook all the way back to the beginning. Okay, and then we're going to do it for the next stitch. So find that last 10 chains that you did again and then go into the next one. Next chain down, then find the next one. Next 10 chains, find the next stitch, pop that on your hook and the next one and the last one. And do the same thing again, bring it through all the loops, including that last one. Okay, then back to the beginning. I'm going to do this three more times. So into the next stitch, then find the next one. Roughly, then the next one, and then the last one. And again, bring the yarn through all five loops, back to the beginning and twist it back round again to find the first one you're working with. And you should see, if you hold that up there, you should see that you're crocheting back down towards the eye. So do that twice more, go into the next stitch on the last set of 10 chains, find the next stitch on the next 10 chains. I don't think I've gone through that one properly. There we go. And the next one. Like I said, it doesn't have to be completely accurate, so don't stress over it too much. Bring it through all five loops. You're just joining them together. And we're going to do it once more. So twist it back round, back to the beginning. Find that first one you're working with, or the last set. And then into the next chain, the next set, next one, and then the last one, and that'll do. We're not going to go right up to the eyes, we want to allow a little bit of space. Bring it through all those loops. Okay, and then we've finished and we're just going to pull our loop through. 
And the next thing to do is just hide all our tail ends and it should look like that. You should see almost like a knitted effect where they've all been joined. And because we haven't gone right up to the eye, it creates a little bit of sort of sponginess. And you can just trim down all these excess bits that are sticking out. And we're going to sew in our tail ends. So just hide your tail ends as neatly as you can. And I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you how to finish. This last one I'm just going to sew through. I'm going to sew up to the end. So just hide your tail ends just by sewing through stitches just to secure them. I'll do that and then I shall come back and show you the finished eye. trim down the excess. We'll do that for all the remaining other tail ends as well. So I'll do that and I'll come back. And there we go. I've just sewn in all the tail ends at the end and there you go. You've got your little fibroidy nerves on the back of your eye. And we've got a little green eye this time and that can go with our other eyeball. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you managed to follow along and sorry about using white and black in tutorial. It's actually been surprisingly hard to come up with projects that don't use a lot of black and white in Halloween projects. But I hope that was a little bit of fun, maybe an alternative gift to give a trick or treater. And uh, I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Cheers for watching guys. Bye!